A new name will be engraved on the FIFA Club World Cup trophy tonight. Chelsea, the European champions, taking on Copa Libertadores winners Palmeiras in the final here in Abu Dhabi. And that is the trophy that they are playing for tonight. The FIFA Club World Cup trophy brought out by two legends of the game. Onto the pitch here at the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates, where there is a magnificent atmosphere for this final, which sees the champions of Europe face the South American champions. It is Chelsea of England versus Palmeiras of Brazil. Chelsea in the Club World Cup final for a second time. They lost to another Brazilian side, Corinthians, back in 2012. Indeed, 2012 was the last time that that trophy headed outside of Europe. It is the first appearance in the final for Palmeiras. It's their second appearance also in this tournament. They finished fourth last year. Chelsea fans are very much outnumbered by those in green who have travelled here in huge numbers, particularly behind one goal. There they are, hoping to cheer their team on. Palmeiras from Sao Paulo in Brazil. And the fact that their bitter rivals, Corinthians, have twice won this is added motivation for those Palmeiras supporters. Indeed, four times Brazilian sides have won the FIFA Club World Cup. Corinthians twice in 2000 and 2012. Sao Paulo, another team, of course, from Sao Paulo in 2005. And Internacional the following year. As for Chelsea, they're bidding to become only the third English team to win the FIFA Club World Cup. Manchester United in 2008 and Liverpool just a few years ago in Qatar in 2019, returning home with the trophy. The FIFA Club World Cup final 2021. of ceremonies inside the stadium as I'm sure you can hear looking to build up the atmosphere don't really need that the atmosphere is red hot already intense concentration While the players wait in the tunnel, the flags on the pitch are unfurled. The flag of Chelsea and the flag of Palmeiras as fire shoots into the sky from canisters around the edge of the pitch. The lights have been turned down as well. What a spectacle it is. smell in the air of the flames as they shoot into the sky. The enormous badges of Chelsea and Palmeiras. And now the Australian referee, Chris Beat, can lead the two teams out into a smoke-filled 
Stadium, which is absolutely bouncing inside. Gustavo Gomez and Cesar Azpilicueta, the two captains of Chelsea and Palmeiras. At the end of the night, one of those teams will be returning home with the FIFA Club World Cup trophy. Ahead of us, what should be an exhilarating and enthralling Club World Cup final, as the European champions Chelsea take on the South American champions Palmeiras. It's England against Brazil in Abu Dhabi. This the 18th edition of the FIFA Club World Cup, the fifth to be held in the United Arab Emirates. The UEFA Champions League winners have won the Club World Cup on the last eight occasions. Bayern Munich twice, Real Madrid four times, Barcelona and Liverpool once. In total, European sides have won the Club World Cup 13 times. Teams from South America have won it on four occasions, with South American sides beaten finalists on nine different occasions. European teams have lost just three times. Palmeiras, who defeated Al Ali in their semi final. Chelsea, who beat Al Hilal by one goal to nil. It was 2 0 to Palmeiras against the side from Egypt. Edouard Mendy, who won the Africa Cup of Nations title with Senegal last weekend, is preferred to Kepper in one of four changes made by Chelsea head coach Thomas Tuchel. And Golo Conte and Callum Hudson Odoi come into midfield, while Mason Mount starts on the right side of a three man attack. Romelu Lukaku got the only goal in the semi final win over Al Hilal. Thomas Tuchel missed that match, but the head coach is now here in Abu Dhabi. Kepa, Marcus Alonso, Ziesch and Jorginho are the four who drop to the bench. Captain Cesar Azapelicueta played in the 2012 Club World Cup final when Chelsea lost to Corinthians. Chris Beath from Australia is our referee. It's an all-Australian refereeing trio out there on the pitch. VAR officials are led by the Italian Massimiliano Irati. It's the same Palmeiras team that began the semi final victory over Al Ali with goals from Rafael Vega and Dudu. Ten of this side started the Copa Libertadores final win over Flamengo in late November. Palmeiras and the thousands of green clad fans desperate to lift the FIFA Club World Cup. They finished fourth last year. Substitute Jailson did play in the 2017 final. That was for Gremio, who lost to Real Madrid. Captain Gustavo Gomez and Luan in central defence have the job of trying to keep Romelu Lukaku quiet. Palmeiras in their first final. Wasn't able to be here for the semi-final, Thomas Tuchel, after a positive Covid test, but all that has now cleared up, thankfully, and he is here to coach his side. And he's pitting his wits against the Portuguese Abel Ferreira, who has led Palmeiras to two successive Copa Libertadores titles. Just waiting for the signal from below. There it is.
Chelsea get the FIFA Club World Cup final underway. Chelsea in blue tonight up against uh, Palmeiras' side who are in all white with green socks. It's the third time the FIFA Club World Cup final has been played between teams from England and Brazil. All three finals have ended with a single goal victory. Brazil winning the trophy on two of those three occasions. England once. For both Chelsea and Palmeiras, it would be a first Club World Cup triumph if they emerge victorious tonight. Away by Rudiger. Picked on the midfield here by Vega. Should be a very evenly matched competitive fixture, this. Here's Dudu. Worked out wide to Marcus Rocha. Russia with the ball infield, it's away by Thiago Silva. The Brazilian playing against the team from Brazil. Kovacic, player of the match in the semi-final. Against Al Hilal. Christensen. Thiago Silva. Christensen. 37 years old, Thiago Silva, here he is. Played under Thomas Tuchel at uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Havertz. hudson Adoy looking to turn that into the middle. Now picked up here by Chelsea. Aspilicueta trying to turn it into the middle. And in the end it comes off the Chelsea captain. Hudson Adoy with the ball in here and it caused a few problems. Picares with the initial header. Palmeiras fans will keep this chanting up for the entire 19 minutes. They were magnificent in the semi final. Indeed, uh, Gustavo Gomez said that the players from Palmeiras were absolutely shocked to see that many supporters inside the stadium when they emerged for the uh, warm-up. Well by Danilo. He was apparently interesting in other English Premier League club, Arsenal, he's being linked with a move there. Silva, Rudiger, Hudson Adoy, always lost out here. Forward comes Vega, able to shrug off the challenge of Hudson Adoy. Got the first goal in the semi final, Rafael Vega, set up by Dudu and then returned the favour for Dudu to score. Palmeiras' second is Gustavo Scarpa. Picares, Luan, Gomez, Rocha, taken down by Vega, in towards Dudu, couldn't quite get there, chance perhaps for a shot here from Danilo, it's gone behind. First corner of the evening and it's gone the way of Palmeiras. Set up quite nicely here for the strike on goal, but no problem for Mendy as it took the deflection wide. Gustavo Scarpa has gone across to the far side to take this corner for Palmeiras. Chelsea have brought everybody back into their own penalty area. A little bit of bumping and barging to be sorted out by the referee. End swinger then from Scarpa. Not the best of uh, corners. Ronick trying to get on the end of it.
Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich has just taken his uh, seat, probably about eight metres away from where I'm sitting. He's got a burly security guard with him as well. As Pelicueta. This trophy would complete the set for Chelsea in terms of club honours. And although sometimes the perception of this uh, competition isn't as high as it could be in Europe, Thiago Silva in particular has been impressing upon his Chelsea teammates the importance of winning. Comes off Havertz. Oh, that ball stayed in play. Lukaku trying to bring it down. Aspilicuela just beaten to it by the defender, Scarpa, who was back out in defence, helping out. Thiago Silva. Havertz, Kovacic. Thiago Silva. Mason Mount. Chelsea throw. Aspilicueta looks for options. Tries to find Lukaku. Touch there from Kovacic, Rudiger is back, Silva, Christensen, Conte, seemed to be eased off the ball there by the defender, Picares, but referee saw nothing wrong in it. Abel Ferreira, only the third non-South American coach to win the Copa Libertadores trophy, up against Thomas Tuchel, who won the UEFA Champions League just a few months after being appointed. Weverton. Picares. That is a foul by Christensen. On Dudu. Vega. Danilo's just inside. Luan. This is Picares. The best of balls forward from the left back. Again, Picares, the Uruguayan international. Silva. Rudiger. Christensen. Kovacic. Almost uh, taken away from him by Danilo. Rudiger. Thiago Silva. Conte. Mount. Wasn't quite fit enough to start the semi-final. Mason Mount, the England international, but able to start tonight. A few days of training in the warm sunshine here in Abu Dhabi has done wonders. Long from Weverton, very long from Weverton. Look at the run into the middle made by Vega. Danilo also offering support. And in the end it might have been a shot that turned into a cross, but either way, it wasn't what Palmeiras required. So it was turned across by Ronick. Thousands of Palmeiras supporters thronged the streets of Sao Paulo to 
see their team off to the airport. Here come Chelsea, Mason Mount, Hudson Adoy. Can he get the shot away? Hudson Adoy charged down by Danilo. Forward by Ronnie. Marcus Rocha. No way past Conte. Interesting listening to the views of the FIFA technical group who are out here, who include Alberto Zaccaroni and Steve McLaren, who are saying that Palmeiras have to try and match Chelsea in midfield. Chelsea with too much room against Al Hilal to run the game, and you can see how tight Palmeiras is staying to those Chelsea men in the middle of the uh, pitch. Thiago Silva. Conte, a FIFA World Cup winner with France, back in Russia, almost four years ago now. Rudiger, Silva, as Pelicuet has made a run across the front of the penalty area. Christensen, Mount. Mount fouled by Zay Raphael. It's a promising position this for Chelsea. will take this free kick then for the European champions. Lukaku, an obvious target. Rudiger has made his way to the uh, far side of the penalty area. by Mount. Marcus Rocha cleared away to Dudu. Now he ran forward from almost the halfway line to score his goal in the semi-final against Al Ali, unable to repeat the feat there. Mendy with the clearance. Lukaku. Mount keeps that ball alive. Up against Picares. Christensen. Rudiger. Chelsea with two thirds of the possession so far in the opening exchanges. Hudson Adoy. Turns it in. Aspilaqueta was arriving late there, the Chelsea captain. Aspilicueta, the only member of the playing staff at the 2012 FIFA Club World Cup final, who is still on the playing staff at Chelsea. And he was saying the other day in his media conference how he thought another chance would come along fairly quickly to win this particular competition, but it hasn't done so until now. Lukaku, all bundled out of the way by Picares, Chelsea free kick. Well, you can see the reaction there of Abel Ferreira. He's not happy at all with that decision. Mason Mount has just been for a word with Thomas Tuchel, which is the reason that he's only just coming forward to take this free kick. Chelsea attacking the goal behind which the very, very vocal section of Palmeiras fans are housed. This will be a different style of free kick from Mount. The 
all bending in. Kaku, Havertz, both waiting to try and get on the end of it. Mount, oh, he's gone for goal. That's not the best of options from the Chelsea midfielder. Teammate thought of it. Away by Gomez. Kovacic with the header. Has won the FIFA Club World Cup. Matteo Kovacic in his time with Real Madrid won it twice. Palmeiras get the decision. Challenge on running. Gomez coming forward, Luan as well. Only the two fullbacks really are staying back for Palmeiras, Picares, and the Rocha. So that's a real bit of pressure then on Edouard Mendy's goal. Scarpa will take. It wasn't the best of corners that he delivered from that side early on in the match. What can he do here? Scarpa's delivery easily away. Gathered by Dudu. Teasing ball into the middle. And easily gathered in the end by Mendy. FIFA goalkeeper of the year, able to gather this with some comfort. Generally, it was thought that this final would be a very tight, closely contested affair. And the opening minutes have certainly lived up to that. Way through to Mount. There's a problem here. Jose Rafael. Is the challenge just caught there on the top of the boot by Kai Havertz. Chance just a moment ago. The header in towards goal from Ronick. Pretty simple for Mendy. Hero of the penalty shootout against Egypt last weekend in the Africa Cup of Nations final. Well, Mendy. Those two meet again, actually. Next month in a playoff over two legs, replaced at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar at the end of the year. Eventually everything sorted out. See Rafael can come back on and Chelsea can begin to try and build again. Silva. Lukaku from Kovacic. Vega. Kovacic with the challenge. Came off the Palmeiras man last of all. Rafael 
Vega, who scored a very early goal in the 2 1 victory over Flamengo in the Copa Libertadores final at the end of last November, which went to extra time. Deverson then scoring in the first half of extra time. He's on the bench tonight. And there are many talking to quite a few people here earlier tonight who predict that this final may well go to extra time as well. So it could be in for a long evening. It's just gone 10 to 9 in the evening local time here in Abu Dhabi. Lukaku, Conte, shot charged down by Luan. No way, somewhat spectacularly by Ronnie Rudiger. Silva. Christensen, Conte. Got away there from Picares rather easily. Havertz couldn't gather. Ronnie. Challenge from Kovacic. This is Marcus Rocha. Fouled by Havertz. Kai Havertz, the man who scored the goal in the UEFA Champions League final win over Manchester City that saw Chelsea lift the European crown and book their place in this FIFA Club World Cup. Silver. Looking for Mount. Interesting choice from uh, Thomas Tuchel to play Mason Mount from the start tonight for Chelsea. In place of Hakim Zayish. He did come on as a substitute for Zayish in the semi final. See Eshna Moroccan international who may have read has recently said that he doesn't want to play for Morocco anymore. Just past the midway point in the first half. Just joined us, it's been a tight, cagey affair between Chelsea in blue and Palmeiras in white. Dudu on the end of the long ball forward. Needs support. Or does he? Dudu goes for goal! Well, he's already scored one goal here at this Club World Cup. Looking for a second. He actually played in last year's Club World Cup for Al Duhail of Qatar. He was on loan at uh, that club from Palmeiras. Says he's a supporter, his family are supporters, his children are supporters. And it was heartbreaking to see the team he supports go out in the semi final. historically do consider themselves to be the very first winners of the World Club title. They won the Copa Rio back in 1951, which was the first time that teams from South America and Europe had met with a title at stake. They beat Juventus of Italy over two legs. Conte. It's never been officially ratified as a world title as such. Conte, Havertz, went for goal. Did he get a touch of the defender? No, it didn't. Goal kick. Mousy, able to 
Everton and Lukaku. Picares. Scarpa. by Vega, who in turn loses out to Aspilicueta, Havertz, Hudson-Odoi on that far side, Kai Havertz. But he's only scored 14 goals for uh, Chelsea since joining them as a record signing from Bayer Leverkusen back in September of 2020. And 11 of those 14 goals have come at Chelsea's home ground, Stamford Bridge in London. One back by Hudson Adoy. Unable to turn, shielded by Luan. Dudu. Say Raphael. Dudu. Great chance here for Palmeiras. First touch was a poor one, and Chelsea were able to get two defenders back in the way. Really promising move this from Palmeiras. Kovacic as that ball went harmlessly behind. The FIFA president is here. The Palmeiras president is here. The Chelsea owner is here. Touch from Zay Roberto. He's held off Conte. Zay Roberto. Trying to set up Vega, cross came Rudiger. As for the Cueta, Christensen. As for the Cueta. Havertz. Hudson Adoy. Stopped in his tracks by Marcus Rocha. Here's Ronnie. Rudiger goes across to try and prevent further progress forward. Danilo. Picares. Dudu. the slow motion replay has uh, a bit of a problem here and it may well be that his club world cup final is going to come to an early end and indeed chelsea have got christian pulisic ready to come on and it 
is Pulisic for Mount. He has had injuries uh, lately, Mason Mount. Big blow, though, to have to come off. Christian Pulisic, the first uh, American to play in the UEFA Champions League final. Will come on for Mason Mount. Half an hour played. That's out for a corner. Chelsea have brought everybody back. Gustavo Scarpa will take. It's a deep one. Plenty forward still. Away though from the head of Kovacic. Turning away Vegas return ball. Target Lukaku got there first as Levan just uh, held off there, making a challenge. All's well that ends well, as far as Ahmed is concerned, but they might be in a bit of trouble here. All went out of play. Do do thousands of Palmeiras supporters felt that it hadn't. Gets his first involvement. Havertz. Kovacic. Through from Pulisic. Picked up here by Rudiger. Silva. and Adore, Luigi closed down by Ronnie. Kovacic, lofts it in towards Lukaku. Just for a moment, Chelsea striker wasn't quite sure where that ball was going to land. Pulisic, Conte, Pulisic, he's got in behind the defence here. Turn towards goal, Lukaku with the final touch as Danilo pokes that ball back towards his own goal here. Picard has beaten and Lukaku couldn't get enough on it. End to end play in this first half. Danilo. Scarpa. Going to curl it in, gathered by Mendy. And a quick release as well from the Chelsea goalkeeper, Hudson Adoy. Kovacic. Havertz. Pulisic. 
Foul. Christian Pulisic making his 97th appearance for Chelsea in all competitions. 20 goals for them. And he might fancy his chances from this free kick as well. Pulisic there on the left, Aspilicueta on the right, engaged in deep discussion. Weverton, trying to sort his wall out. Anxious moments for those in Palmeiras Glean. Pulisic. His face tells you all you need to know. Got it up, couldn't get it down. A little unfortunate for the steward behind the goal, who got clattered. That is again taking that uh, short goal kick straight out of play from Weverton. Silva. Conte. Rudiger. And touch on from Asper Equator. Christiansen. Curling ball in. Away by Weberton. Just got his fist to it ahead of uh, Pulisic. And Weberton was caught. By the Chelsea substitute. Really dangerous ball in this. Didn't appear to be too much in the actual challenge. It might well have been the way that he landed there. The goalkeeper. away from Weverton. Gustavo Gomez was asked incidentally ahead of this match whether he would prefer Weverton in goal or the FIFA goalkeeper of the year, Edouard Mendy, at the other end, and he said Weverton every single time. Start play. Christensen underneath it. Together with Zay Roberto. Mendy. Hudson Adoy. Walk back by Vega. Danilo, running, will go for goal, and it was always rising and kept doing so. From the striker, one of 11 players in the Palmeiras squad who were in the squad last year at the Club World Cup, but this time last year in Qatar. Both that Club World Cup and this one delayed by a few months because of the worldwide pandemic. And of course, this competition taking place in December. Dudu. Running. Felt he was fouled by Hudson Adoy. Not so. According to the Australian referee, Chris Beath. How about Ferreira 
incidentally, is uh, not very happy at all with the lack of a decision in his team's favour. I can see him down below involved in a strident argument with the fourth official. Will we get a goal then before half time? Christians. That's for the quick game. Putting a Club World Cup record, says that Aspelacueta, playing in finals nine years apart. Andres Iniesta and Cristiano Ronaldo are the other two players who have uh, done so. Silva. Pulisic. Formation really for Chelsea Pulisic just playing in behind Lukaku. Silva trying to set up Havertz in the middle. Not sure he expected that to come through to him. Kovacic away by the sliding Gomez. Christensen. Pulisic. Chelsea still with just over two thirds in possession. That's a foul, surely, by Hudson Odoi. Indeed, it is. On Ronnie. Hudson Odoi, now 21, who's been at Chelsea since he was eight years of age. Sixteen goals for Chelsea, 12 of them have come in cup competitions. Which might be an omen for this evening. It's Chelsea with 68% possession so far. Palmeiras, 32%. Dudu, Vega, say Rafael. Well, that was a half a chance, most definitely for Palmeiras. recently Romelu Lukaku up front for Chelsea Five appearances without a goal before the goal against Al Hilal Havertz Kovacic whacked into Danilo Conte Chelsea throw Good defending though by the duo who were uh, Charged with trying to get that ball back for Palmeiras. to gather and a quick release from him to Dudu. There's always a roar from the Palmeiras fans when it's heading in the direction of Dudu. Zenafael couldn't turn it on to him. Minimum of three minutes additional time at the end of this first half. Kovacic. Havertz. No shots on 
target from Chelsea, just one from Palmeiras. Hudson Odoi. Silva. Kovacic, lining up a shot here. Everton got his fingers to it, it's a corner. Long-range effort from the Croatian international. You can see what he was trying to do long before it was released. Bit of bumping and barging in the penalty area. Silver, who had that shot involved. Swung in by Hudson Odoi. Silva and Rudiger both went for it. And it was Silva who got there ahead of Rudiger. over 30 seconds remaining of the first half. Oh, by Kovacic, Lukaku. Pulisic beaten to it by Gomez. Gomez picked up here by Conte. So quick to pick up possession. Angolo Conte, Havertz. Got a deflection, Chelsea corner. Will there be time to take it? Surely the last action of the first half of the FIFA Club World Cup final. Callum hudson Adoy with the corner kick for Chelsea. Deep. Again, Silva was there. And that indeed is the last action of the first half in this final. Two very, very even teams. Chelsea having the majority of the possession but we have still to get our first goal of the first half. Chelsea nil, Palmeiras nil. And plenty to ponder for both coaches ahead of their half-time team talks in their respective dressing rooms downstairs. Palmeiras need to get Dudu on the ball more. Chelsea, well, Romelu Lukaku has been a peripheral figure up front, but there is everything to play for in this FIFA Club World Cup final. At the break, it is goalless. Chelsea nil, Palmeiras nil. And there's the statistics for the first half. Chelsea with just over two-thirds of uh, possession. Ten shots, but only two on target, and they both came late in this first half. Palmeiras with the one effort on target. We've had no yellow cards so far in a keenly contested match. The FIFA Club World Cup final, Chelsea of England against Palmeiras of Brazil.
Palmeiras in their change colours of all white for this final. It has been a very even first half indeed. Haven't had too much in the way of goal-scoring opportunities for either of these two sides. Chelsea with over two-thirds of possession, though, in the first half. Callum Hudson-Odoi putting this ball across goal. Cesar Azpilicueta couldn't quite get on the end of it. Mason Mount, who was later to go off injured, sent this free kick towards goal, but it was no problem at all for Weverton. At the other end, Dudu. No doubt he's the hero of the Palmeiras side, sent in that dangerous cross, but Ronnie's header in the end was easily gathered by Edouard Mendy. Dudu again involved here as he twisted, turned, unleashed the shot, and it wasn't too far over the crossbar. Chelsea didn't have a shot on target until late in the first half. Kai Havertz with that effort that went wide. And this breakaway from Palmeiras could have resulted in something a little more than it did. Say Rafael setting up Dudu, but his first touch let him down. Christian Pulisic on as a substitute for Mount. Sent that free kick over for the European champions. And then we had this late effort from distance from Thiago Silva. Forcing a fingertip save out of Weverton. Everything to play for in the second half. Half time in this final. It is goalless.
second half underway in just a moment's time here at Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium. What we want to do is talk about a key matchup for the second half, and that is the player from Chelsea in Golo Kante in his defensive midfield role. Absolutely magnificent. And what we also want to do is talk about one of the forwards for Juan Mena, someone who's done a thing in the morning. This is a great matchup on the field, the defensive midfield of Kante, doing a fantastic job, and Ronnie Bobby Wall as one of the key players for Juan Mena. Thank you, Romelu Lukaku and Chelsea coming back out for the second half of this FIFA Club World Cup final. No goals in the opening 45 minutes. Thiago Silva perhaps closest to scoring with a long-range effort for the European champions. Who had just over two-thirds of possession in the first half. Palmeiras will be content with having kept it at nil-nil. Now they've got to attack more. And Luke Vega and Dudu. Goal scorers in the semi-final. Could they be the players to make the breakthrough? No changes to either team in terms of half-time substitutions. So it's as you were in terms of personnel. Almanis in the second half, kicking from left to right, and they change colours of all white with the green trimmings. Chelsea in the blue shirts. Chelsea with 69% of possession in the first half, 31% to Palmeiras.
target, cut out by Silva. Hudson Adoy. Through against the right back, Marcus Rocha. And Vega stopped in his tracks by Rudiger. First half substitute for the injured Mason Mount. Kovacic. Hudson Adoy. To ship it across into the middle. Picarez is there. Running. Rudiger right behind him. Not really a fair contest between those two in terms of size. Rudiger considerably. Player Havertz came off Kai Havertz. Ferocious pace to the start of the second half. It's as if both coaches have said, Right, go and have a real go for 10 minutes or so and see what happens. Hudson-Odoi then to take this free kick, Lukaku, an imposing target figure in the middle. Chelsea with five in the penalty area, pretty much everybody back for Palmeiras. Hudson-Odoi, it's deep, gathered by Weberton. goalkeeper who's looking to add the Club World Cup title to the Copa Libertadores titles and also the Olympic Games gold which he won with Brazil back in 2016 when the games were in Rio. Kovacic, Havertz, Sinodoy is just outside him. Kovacic, Conte, through for Angolo Conte, Rudiger has a go, and Everton was never really that concerned with the efforts from the German international. already he won the Confederations Cup with Germany in Russia in 2017 change of boots meanwhile on this uh, near side for Ronnie he's replaced his blue boots with another pair of blue boots contact Ronnie charge with Kovacic oh man it's free kick Still level at the end of 90 minutes, we will go into extra time and then, if needed, a penalty shootout. Danilo Picares Christensen Conte will be the space ahead of. Conte, Havertz, could get on the end of it. Real pace to proceedings, Vega running, Vega on the chase, Silva was there. Oh, 
both goalkeepers have had a relatively comfortable night so far. Lukaku. Challenged by Luan. Chelsea's record signing. Nine goals in all competitions this season. from it, Rudiger, that's a foul, on Vega, Rafael Vega who's been with Palmeiras now for five years, joining in January of 2017, Silva. Marcus Rocha, running, Rudiger with the challenge, Hudson Adoy, pretty dangerous this for Chelsea, head back deep in their own half, but that's a foul by Vega on Hudson Adoy. of proceedings so far in this match but he was right in the right place to head that one in beautiful cross into the middle and Lukaku gets his second goal of this FIFA Club World Cup it's his tenth of the season and Palmeiras now have to come from behind Chelsea won Palmeiras nil. Well, that's what you want your record signing to do. Even if he has been a peripheral figure, get the goals. Can Chelsea get another here as they come forward once more? Hudson Adoy. Time it's too long. And we get gathered by Scarpa. Oh. 
first goal that Palmeiras have conceded. Here in the UAE, 2 0 winners in the semi final. Chelsea striding forward with Christensen. Chelsea with the first goal, and that may well be an omen. Only once has a team scored the opening goal in a FIFA Club World Cup final and lost. That was Estudiantes against Barcelona back in 2009, when Barcelona came back to win by two goals to one. Pulisic, only just wide. From Christian Pulisic, Chelsea fans enjoying their time now. So Palmeiras have to send more forward have to take a few more risks. Pulisic can't get there, forward by Scarpa. Ronnie nips in ahead of Kovacic. On by Vega. Dudu! Just showed a little bit too much of that to Mendy. For half a second it looked like uh, Dudu might be in there. Just too strong with the opening touch. Lukaku, picked up by Kovacic, hudson Adoy. Havertz waiting at the far post, Lukaku in the middle, Kovacic, Aspilicueta. Palmeiras is about to happen. Midfielder Jailson is going to come on. And who lost in the Club World Cup final for Gremio back in 2017 against Real Madrid. Christensen. Conte. Conte's there again. Lukaku. Rebounds to Havertz. See Raphael bundled out of the way by Kai Havertz. And now the change will be made by Palmeiras. It's uh, Zay Raphael, who is the player coming off from midfield. And on in his place will come Jailson. of age, Jay Ilsen. Recent arrival at uh, Palmeiras. I've been playing in uh, Turkey for uh, Fenerbahce before joining last month. And he's taken up a central midfield position, so it's a straight swap. One by Thiago Silva. first involvement. Ronnie. No free kick, despite the howls of the thousands of Corinthians, of uh, Palmeiras supporters behind that goal. if Almeiras returned home as the runners-up. 
Long throw. Was there a handball there, possibly, in the penalty area? The turn is by Dudu. Didn't get much behind the shot. Mendy got everything behind the shot. Now, there was certainly... It looked like there might have been grounds for a handball appeal in the penalty area, and certainly Abel Ferreira in the technical area is going absolutely spare, and the referee is going to come and have a look at the monitor on this near side. He's been alerted by the fourth official. It certainly looked with the naked eye as though there may well have been an arm raised in the air then. This is what Chris Beath from Australia is having a look at. Was there a handball there? What's he going to do? Penalty! <laughs> Thiago Silva jumping. And the chance for Palmeiras to draw level in this club World Cup final. The Palmeiras supporters behind the goal into which this penalty will be directed towards will almost be sucking this penalty in. Edouard Mendy, one of the heroes in the penalty shootout for Senegal last weekend in the Africa Cup of Nations final. Can he be a Chelsea hero now for club as well as for country? Rafael Vega has carefully placed the ball on the spot. Look at the movement from Mendy on the goal line as he bounces across from post to post. Rafael Vega against Edouard Mendy. This to make it 1-1. Vega scores! And Palmeiras are right back in the FIFA Club World Cup final. Here's the incident. The referee attention brought to it by the VAR official and Rafael Vega goes one way with the shot Edouard Mendy goes the other and it's all square now in Abu Dhabi Chelsea won Palmeiras won Uh, amazing double for him. He scored in the Copa Libertadores final. He's now scored in the FIFA Club World Cup final as well. Approaching the midway point of the first half and everything to play for. Champions of South America are back on level terms. May well now have the momentum behind them. Ronnie will try again. Turned behind by Thiago Silva. The Brazilian international. 104 international appearances for Brazil with the handball against the Brazilian club that has provoked those delirious scenes amongst the Palmeiras supporters. Chelsea have everybody back. Okay, right 
way past the first defender, Dudu. This is Picares to drive it in, away by the head of Rudiger. Well, the atmosphere inside this stadium has completely changed. Palmeiras supporters have found their collective voice. He did say their assistant, Zolt Love, who gave the uh, media conference yesterday, did say that it may well be like playing a match away at Palmeiras. And that Chelsea were prepared for that. So as it stands, we are heading for extra time. Out for the goal kick. Space for him, quickly closed down though by Luan. Pulisic wins the throw. Anxious times these then for Chelsea fans. Palmeiras definitely with the momentum behind them. Oh, that was very, very close indeed. Kai Havertz from the tightest of angles. Marcus Rocha will take. Hudson Adoy. Conte. On by Ronnie, tidied by Silva. Christensen. Space here for Hudson Adoy. Havertz just ahead of him. Able to play it back into the middle. Away by Danilo. That's a free kick. Pretty cheap one in the opinion of Chelsea. Vega, score of the equaliser. Picares. Here's Picares. Danilo. Contact just beaten to it by Jailson and kept in play by Gustavo Scarpa. Jailson. the target, Ronnie, Danilo. Real battle between him and Kovacic, Danilo comes away with it. Vega! Real persistence there from Danilo to keep going.
the last 20 minutes there. Vega has a problem, he's just gone down. There he is at the bottom of your picture. Well, this will be a major concern for Palmeiras. Romelu Lukaku with the opening goal. Powerful header from the Belgian international to put Chelsea in front. But Palmeiras striking back with that penalty from Rafael Vega. And we are set fair for an enthralling finale. Vega wants to come back on again. Christensen Conte Kovacic by Hudson Adoy, is the away by Gomez. Kovacic. I wonder whether there might be changes from both coaches coming up in an attempt to try and win this match inside the 90 minutes. Conte gets away from Jailson. Lukaku. And just wide from Pulisic. Lovely build-up from Chelsea. Pulisic striking it low, but striking it off target. Ken Palmer is taking this uh, short goal kick to Everton. Thiago Silva. Touch from Havertz, Hudson Odoi. Lukaku's in the middle. So is Pulisic. Hudson Odoi can't find either of them. Rudiger wins that in the air. Conte. Silva. Christensen, Lukaku, Luan right there with him, so now it's Scarpa, no nonsense clearance from him. international who made one appearance for his country back in 2017 blocking the progress of the Danish player here comes Chelsea again Pulisic it's gonna be a double change for Chelsea in a minute Timo Werner and Saul about to come on then Timo Werner coming on. Might he replace Romelu Lukaku or might he play up front alongside Lukaku? Lukaku's got the goal tonight. That's a free kick. It'll be a change as well for Palmeiras. It is Romelu Lukaku. Chelsea goal scorer is coming off. Timo 
Werner replaces him. And the other change sees Callum Hudson Adoy withdrawn. And Saul comes on in his place. And the double change for Palmeiras. The fourth official is actually showing the two numbers of the players that are coming on. Wesley, a striker. He's going to come on for Ronnie. And the first change for the team from Brazil. And the other change, it's taking quite a little bit of time for the fourth official to get the board ready. He's waiting still there. Edward Antuesta, the Colombian. Only joined in December after three seasons in MLS. And Rafael Vega is coming off. So both goal scorers withdrawn. and Vega, both off. And on comes Edward Atuesta. Three seasons in MLS with Los Angeles FC. Looks as though Wesley is taking up a position on the right side for Palmeiras. Twester just in field. Werner and Havertz now the focal point of the Chelsea attack. Just to the left hand side. At the moment is come Pulisic. Christensen. side of uh, midfield with Captain outside him. Havertz couldn't quite get there. Well won by the new man. Saul. No way through for Werner. Well by Jay Ilsen. Couldn't quite get on the end of it though, Jay Ilsen. Ramp here. Christensen sliding in. Attendance incidentally has just been announced, just under 33,000, 32,871. So season's loan from Atletico Madrid, won La Liga last season in Spain. Rudiger, trying to set up Pulisic, Danilo. One in the air by Silva. Beaten to it. Wesley. Palmeiras free kick. We're into the last ten minutes, plus whatever additional time is to be played.
forward for Palmeiras. It'll be picked up on that far side by Scarpa, who will let it roll for the throw. Picares. Atuesta. Weverton. Russia. Long towards Wesley. Rudiger. Christensen. Both sides desperate to try and avoid an error which could lead to a winning goal for the other team. is uh, sitting about eight or nine metres away from me and he's leaning forward in his chair. Engrossed in the action. Weberton will eventually restart play. Scarpa. Clearance. Wesley. Oh, it'll fall kindly here. Atuesta. Eduardo Atuesta. Wesley. Marcus Rocha finds him. Wesley with the ball across. Away by Saul. up a winner in the time that remains. Saul. Conte. Rudiger. Pulisic. Havertz. Could turn it into the path of Werner. Wesley. Tidies. Chelsea. Marcus Rocha. 
nicely, able to turn, holding off Kovacic. And Twesta. Twesta's ball across, is too deep. Be picked up by Gustavo Scarpa. Throw. on a pre-arranged signal, out come the green and white to cover the very, very vocal end which is housing the current, the uh, Palmeiras supporters Contact President of Palmeiras on the right. Picares, Scarpa, Jailson, no way through for him. Side. Clearly so. Against Atuesta. Chelsea patiently probing, trying to find a way through. Conte. Aspilaqueta. Conte. Werner's ball forward, couldn't get it back off Aspilaqueta. Well, that's the challenge between Picares and Saul. Chelsea free kick then. In the last few seconds of the 90 minutes, plus whatever additional time we're going to have, and there might be quite a large number of minutes to be played at the end of the 90. Christian Pulisic is behind this free kick. We go into a minimum of five minutes additional time. Pulisic with it. Rudiger gets there first for Chelsea. It's away by Conte. Silva, Conte. Kovacic. Pulisic. Chelsea fans howling for a free kick for the challenge by Wesley. Conte. Looking for Havertz. Pulisic is just in field. Havertz wins a corner. Palmeiras felt that there was a handball there by the Chelsea man. Christian 
Pulisic will take this corner kick. Palmeiras. Every single player back in their own penalty area, desperate to keep this one out. Which they do so. Werner to drive it back across towards Havertz. Kovacic! Long way over. Grossing contest. And we look like we're heading for another half an hour. by Danilo. Picares. Danilo. Conte almost robbed him. Scarpa. Wesley wanted it on this near side. Now does get possession. Dudu. A little back heel, but Kovacic is there for Chelsea. Conte. In play by Pulisic. Can't keep possession, but he was just pulled back there. Pulisic, referee thought about playing an advantage, and he's done so. Conte. Pulisic, Werner, just under 90 seconds of the minimum of five additional minutes remaining, Conte, Werner couldn't get a touch, it's behind for a corner, comes off Luan, Are we to have a late, late winner in this FIFA Club World Cup final? Pulisic to take into a crowded penalty area. Bit of bumping and barging that the referee has to sort out. Rudiger involved. Havertz, away by Weverton. Palmeiras looking to break. Chelsea throw, and that might just about be that. We are seconds away from going into extra time. Referee Chris Beath has had a look at his watch. Rudiger. Away firmly by Picares. And so we go into another 90 minutes. Romelu Lukaku with a header for Chelsea to put them in front. Rafael Vega with a penalty to equalise. And at the end of 90 minutes, it is all square. Chelsea won, Palmeiras won. Extra time to come. So a chance for both coaching teams to impart some words of wisdom, reinvigorate some tired legs. Give some extra motivation, some extra incentive. Nobody's gone. 
nobody's leaving and quite rightly so because this has been an absolutely absorbing club world cup final first half that was very tight indeed although chelsea had the majority in possession just as they have had through the whole of the 90 minutes and chelsea went in front 54 minutes played the ball played in from hudson Adoy, and look at lukaku powerful header from him to turn it back in his second goal of this fifa club world cup but he won't play any further part in this final having been substituted in the second half now all he can do is encourage his teammates and neither will the scorer of the other goal rafael vega who put away this penalty after a handball from Thiago Silva inside the penalty area. Mendy went one way, the shot directed the other. So both goal scorers are off. Somebody else will have to make themselves a hero. Will it be somebody in the blue of Chelsea? the white and green of Palmeiras. Chelsea know all about penalty shootouts. They won the UEFA European Super Cup on a penalty shootout against Villarreal. On that by six goals to five. Kepper saved two penalties in that uh, shootout, having come on as a very late substitute in order to take part in the penalty shootout. So it could be that a goalkeeper will be the hero, or will it be a striker? Australia tosses the coin. It looks as though both teams are going to kick off the way that they kicked off the actual match some two hours ago now. Be a change for Chelsea and on is going to come Hakim Ziyech the striker and also Malang Saar the defender so it's going to be a double change then for Chelsea Matteo Kovacic is withdrawn Malang Saar will presumably go across to uh, left back on on this uh, near side 1-1 one, one, then as we go into the first period of extra time Andreas Christensen is the other player withdrawn incidentally so Christensen and Kovacic are off Quetta will drop back to the right side of defence with Ziyech here, coming on on the right side of midfield with a licence to come forward at will. Offside. So midfield now. Saul will play in the position vacated by Kovacic. Palmeira 
they still have substitutions available should they wish to avail themselves of changes. Ziyech presents a different kind of problem for the defensive pair of Picares and Scarpa on the Palmeiras left. Ziyech with the ball into the middle. Conte. I don't think he'll be taken off, he just runs and runs and runs. Angolo Conte. Ziyech cut out though by Picares. Foul by Aspilicueta. Well, he's the calm one now. Abel Ferreira. Thomas Tuchel right out on the edge of his area just a moment ago. He's berating his players. Rudiger. He's found that extra yard of pace from somewhere, Antonio Rudiger. That's for the quarter. Ziesch on this new side, here he is. Garner and Havertz. Both waiting in the middle, along with Saul. Palmeiras needed extra time to win their Copa Libertadores final against Flamengo. Davison scoring what proved to be the winning goal five minutes into the first half of extra time for Abel Ferreira's side. And he is still an option on the bench, the 30-year-old striker. of possession, 65%. Pulisic this time will leave the free kick. It's taken quickly, too quickly for the referee's liking and not from the correct position either. Thiago Silva wandering forward quietly. Such a threat from set pieces, the Brazilian defender hoping to score against the Brazilian club. Ziesch to take. Ziesch is floating ball. Russia, Jailson. Not much in the way of options ahead of him, only Dudu. Oh, he might go all the way here, though, Jay Ilson. Couldn't find a way through. Mendy. That's for the Quaita. Saar. 
Porto last season, Malang Sarr. It had been thought that he might be on loan again this season, but not so. Here he is, the Frenchman. Conte. Werner. Still going, Timo Werner. We're going to pull it back. Away by Gomez. Dudu. First to the ball, Ziyech. He was caught there by Dudu. Bit of a spicy exchange here between Ziyech and Dudu, although Ziyech, has to be said, did make the most of it. Pulisic. Pulisic, charged down by Luan, Silva, Conte, Saar, Aspilicueca. Pulisic. To it, picked up though by Malang Sar. It's Malang Sar. He got plenty of power behind the shot. Not much in the way of direction though. Ten of his 13 appearances this season have been in cup competitions. Malang Sar. Havertz, Werner, looked like he might be offside, against the post, and had that gone in, he might very well have been looking at a close call regarding the offside. Actually, it wasn't that close, was it? Wouldn't have counted had it gone in. Encouraging signs though for Chelsea, who do have this corner kick. It'll be an inswinger from Hakim Ziyech. Very deep indeed. Vernat will struggle to keep that in play. Oh, he's done so though. Werner's ball across, headed away by Picares. Saar drives it wide to find Werner. Turned by Rudiger, Chelsea corner. penalty area that this corner will be sent into. It's been a quota jumping for it. Everton will get on the end of it, the goalkeeper, and looks for a quick release as well. Dudu. Putting some pressure there on Saar. Havertz has got him behind the defence. Well, he kept that ball in play, just. One hundred minutes played. Rudiger, no nonsense clearance from him.
another warm evening in Abu Dhabi, despite the fact we're at 20 to 11 at night now. This throw is a deep one towards Dudu. Cleared away by Sol. Gomez underneath it. Away by Rudiger, picked up by Marcus Rocha. That's offside against Jailson. Change for Palmeiras as we see that slow motion replay. And it's Dudu who is uh, coming off. Rafael Navarro, the young striker, coming on in his place. And listen to the reception for Dudu. from uh, Botafogo. <laughs> Silva. That's for the quick. Ziyech. Silva. Saar. Werner, can't find a way, passes opposite number, Wesley. Conte, Pulisic, Aspilicueta, they're going to loft it through in towards Werner, half away here by Gomez who was fouled, clattered into the Palmeiras captain. Played. Might have another minute of additional time on top of that. Flick forward by Saul, and again. It's going to be a card, Wesley. First caution of the final, and it goes to the Palmeiras substitute. Danilo. Bravo couldn't do too much with it. That shot of Lynch blonde hair. We do have an additional minute to be played at the end of this first half of extra time. Conte. Saar. Werner. Conte. That's for the Quetta is there first. Conte. Robbed by Danilo. Danilo's ball forward. Navarro. It's Rafael Navarro bearing down on goal. Rudiger with the challenge. He was offside. Palmeiras fans howling for a free kick in their failure. Favour there, but it was offside against the young substitute. Last few seconds then of the first half of extra time. down is Scarpa. That's the incident for which Wesley got his yellow.
Harper is still down. Referee not satisfied that it requires medical attention. And this kick forward may well be the last of the first half of extra time. Both teams with just three shots on target in the entire match so far. Half time in extra time, and we still don't have a deciding goal. 15 minutes to play, otherwise, we will go to penalties in the FIFA Club World Cup final. At the end of the first half of extra time, Chelsea won, Palmeiras won. So, a chance then for the coaches to. Have some words. But it does look increasingly likely that we will be going to a penalty shootout. Palmeiras supporters still making plenty of noise. Certainly more vocal than the Chelsea fans, simply because there are many, many thousands more of them. Could that vocal support from those who've travelled from Brazil make the difference in the second half of extra time? So, referee's ready, Palmeiras just about ready, Chelsea almost ready. Chelsea won, Palmeiras won. 15 minutes to determine whether we're going to have a winner in extra time. Are we going to a penalty shootout? Challenged by Ziesch. You have just joined us. Both goals coming in the second half. Romelu Lukaku putting Chelsea ahead after 54 minutes. But Rafael Vega, 10 minutes later, with a penalty for Palmeiras. After Thiago, Sil Thiago Silva had handled in the penalty area, and the referee had come across to the pitch side monitor to uh, view it. One moment of magic could win the Club World Cup, one mistake could lose it. And there will be some tired players out there. It's been played at a ferocious pace at times this Club World Cup final. still have a substitution available to them. That's well a quick. Ziyech. Silva. Rudiger. for a Havertz, Jailson, Linda Setaway, Navarro, Thiago Silva in the way, Rudiger. Werner, able to get 
get that ball in. Saar. Aspilicueta. Drives it across. Nobody, but nobody up front for Palmeiras. Able to get on the end of that long clearance. Rudiger. Chelsea still with two-thirds of possession, which they have had there or thereabouts throughout the whole match. Aspilicueta. Cross deep towards Havertz. Everton was fouled. afters as well between Kai Havertz and Weverton. This is the incident. It's entitled to go for that, the Chelsea player. most important moments might be coming soon. Rudiger. Saar. Werner's looking to find Navarro. Werner. Havertz in the middle. Werner. Two defenders in front of him. Weight of numbers told. International. Who you'd think would be odds on to take one of the penalties for Chelsea. Should we get to that stage? And still they sink. Ziyech, I thought he might have got away. Here comes Navarro looking to make tracks in the other direction. Palmeiras fans up on their feet, trying to urge their team to one last decisive effort. but the referee's played advantage. Werner. Saar's just in field. So is Havertz. 
Conte. Drives it out wide to Ziyech. Teasing ball in and just turned wide by Havertz. What a chance for Chelsea. Got a touch off a Pamaris player on the way through. Chelsea corner. Oh, it's an anxious time for those in both green and in blue. Ziesch to take this corner then for Chelsea. That's been a great well, the appeals for a handball and the referee not impressed at all. They're all up on their feet in the Chelsea technical area. Werner. He's got Marcus Rocha right behind him. Pulisic. Drives it across. Beverton just beaten to it by Saul. Now, Chelsea continue their protest. They felt there was a handball in the penalty area. And there is an official VAR check for a possible penalty, a potential handball. Palmeiras were awarded a penalty for handball after the referee went and looked at the monitor, and he's going to look at the monitor again. Chelsea were convinced there was a spot kick for a handball there. Well, look at the arm out there from Luan. Aspilicueta with the shot. And what is the referee's decision? Penalty to Chelsea! Handball by Luan. There's the offence. Palmeiras now taking their turn to protest. But you can see Chelsea convinced. And Luan has been penalised. Can Chelsea go back in front with just a few minutes remaining? Yellow card for Luan. Oh, how must he be feeling now? Well, there might have been a yellow card also for Atuesta for his protests. Indeed, there was. It's taken an awfully long time for this to be sorted out. Kai Havertz places the ball carefully on the spot. Havertz up against Weberton. He saved a penalty in the Olympic Games final shootout against Germany at the 2006 Olympic, 2016 Olympics. This may be to win it for Chelsea. Havertz up against Weberton. Havertz puts it in! <laughs> Applause from the owner, jubilation for Chelsea, absolute dejection for Palmeiras. <laughs> There's the decision. Handball by Luan. And it's a perfect penalty from Havertz. Beverton goes the wrong way. And Chelsea rush into the corner to celebrate together. And that may well be the penalty that wins the FIFA Club World Cup for Chelsea.
Iverson coming on for the last few minutes. Marcus Rocha, a defender, is off. Striker is on. It's now or never for Palmeiras. They simply have to throw everything forward. Two minutes, plus whatever additional time is remaining for Palmeiras to score an equaliser for a second time. Away by Saar. Havertz. Pulisic. Here's Danilo. Wide to that far side. Davison. This has gone. Chelsea will take their time. Chelsea just moments away from becoming the third English club to win the FIFA Club World Cup. Manchester United in 2008, Liverpool in 2019. And is this going to be Chelsea's year? additional time is to be played at the end of the second half of extra time Navarro on the chase anywhere will do as far as Thiago Silva is concerned the man who's handball in the second half of normal time led to the Palmeiras penalty Rudiger gets it away Chelsea free kick A head injury here for Silva. Just looking below, the fourth official is going to show us three minutes to be played, and Palmeiras officials are outraged. They feel that number should be longer, but it is just three minutes. Look at the reaction in the technical area. Silva still receiving treatment. And there's a yellow card for the coach of Palmeiras, Abel Ferreira. Caution. in green. Havertz, the left-footed penalty, into the bottom corner to spark jubilant scenes. Additional minutes to be played then. It's three minutes from now, of course. After that lengthy delay. Back in Brazil, Corinthian fans. Sao Paulo fans, Santos fans, all the big rivals in Sao Paulo will be thrilled at this result. If it is to be a result. Who 
Pulisic, the man down now. And it is the blue flags of Chelsea that are waving inside the stadium here in Abu Dhabi. Towards Havertz. Palmeiras have to clear it long. Gomez playing as a striker now, the captain. Taken down by Danilo. Werner with the challenge. Foul by Jailson. It looks like he's going to end up on the losing side for the second time in a FIFA Club World Cup final. Werner. Navarro gets away from contact. Rafael Navarro. Showed too much of that to Thiago Silva. Forward by Luan. Ziesch. Havertz. He's got Luan for company. Luan with the challenge. Got the ball. I make it. There's about 60 seconds or so left. This time Saul goes down. Fouled by Navarro. There's a check here for a possible red card. For that challenge. And the referee's going to have a look at the monitor for the third time in this match. And is it going to end? In a red card. There's the challenge on Havertz by Luan. The man whose handball led to the penalty that put Chelsea 2 1 in front. He's having a look at quite a few different angles. Now, what is Chris Beef going to do here? Luan is off. A miserable night for him. A handball that led to the penalty. And then, with moments to go, a red card for the challenge here on Kai Havertz. It'll be a free kick to Chelsea. Palmeiras down to 10 and almost down and out. ever see Palmeiras win the FIFA Club World Cup such a huge deal in South America this tournament it is the club tournament on the world stage and it looks as though Thomas Tuchel on the left there and Chelsea are about to lift the trophy have to keep possession, take it into the corner. Chelsea are the club World Cup champions. A dramatic final, it went to extra time and Chelsea won it in extra time with Kai Havertz penalty. Chelsea 2, Palmeiras 1. Chelsea on top of the world. Palmeiras, the beaten finalists. It wasn't to be their night. Commiserations from the FIFA president to the Palmeiras president. But the banner there says it all for Chelsea, champions of the world. The FIFA Club World Cup will be lifted by Chelsea for the first time in their history. And Corinthians have to settle for the runners-up spot. Let's go! Chelsea in front through Romelu Lukaku's header. 
Palmeiras level through a penalty from Rafael Vega. That gave those in green huge hope. But another penalty in the second half of extra time. Handball by Luan, who was later sent off. And it was converted by Kai Havertz. That's what defeat means for Palmeiras and their supporters. It's hard on Corinthians, on uh, Palmeiras rather. They don't join their big rivals, Corinthians, as Club World Cup winners. The Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium. Always be associated in Chelsea minds with their first FIFA Club World Cup triumph. Antonio Rudiger voted man of the match by the FIFA technical experts. Aqui com o Rafael Veiga é duro, é duro deixar escapar o título. Ah, a gente tem que também saber valorizar tudo aquilo que a gente fez para chegar até aqui. É lógico que a gente queria ganhar, chegar até aqui já não é fácil. Jogar de igual para igual contra uma equipe dessa que foi a melhor ou é a melhor da Europa hoje. É, tirou vários, tirou outros, vários outros times. É, a gente tem que valorizar né, o que a gente fez. A gente não chegou aqui é, por sorteio. A gente não chegou aqui por acaso. A gente tem os nossos méritos. É, acho que é isso. É. A gente fica chateado, né? Mas a gente sai daqui muito, muito feliz pela disposição de cada um nesses dois jogos. Né? A gente sai muito mais maduro, é, triste, mas com a cabeça erguida sempre. O que resolveu esse jogo? O que fez a diferença para não vencer? Cara, um jogo assim é difícil porque são lances pontuais. Né? Às vezes a gente podia chegar no começo do jogo, nas chances que a gente teve, fazer um gol é, e o jogo ser diferente. São lances pontuais e eles acabaram fazendo mais gol que a gente. Obrigado, Veiga. Valeu. Parabéns, um abraço. Tá aí por... Kai, you're champions of the world. How does that sound? Amazing, I think. Uh, just amazing after champions of Europe, now champions of the world. I mean, it sounds better. It's a great feeling. I think we deserved uh, so much to be here to win this game and it's just incredible feeling. Any nerves at all when you stepped up? You didn't look like you were nervous. I was, I was. I have to be honest. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a big penalty, a big uh, goal. I think again, um, yeah, just crazy. I think it was good that I keep the, uh, kept the nerves. And I'm very happy. 
it takes a lot for someone of your age to stand up and take that. Was that a decision decided before or did you make that decision on the pitch? No, I think I was uh, the third penalty taker. I think Georgie and Rom, they both were out, so I was the, uh, the only one on the pitch. And uh, I mean, the other players gave me uh, trust, Hakim, Aspi, everybody. Um, they said to do it, to do it, and I did it. Uh, you scored the winning goal in the Champions League final. You've scored the winning goal in the Club World Cup final. How do you feel about that? You've written yourself into Chelsea history. I don't know what to say. I mean, I dreamed always uh, as a kid of, uh, of this. Just an amazing, uh, amazing feeling for me. I'm thankful for um, everybody that brought me here, my family, uh, my girlfriend, everyone. And um, yeah, just a big thanks to them. And I mean, both girls, the Champions League final, and now this, I'm all, all for them. Congratulations, Kai. Thank you. Thomas, congratulations. Thanks. World champions. Your face there, though, a little bit of relief that that goal went in right at the end. Yeah, of course. Of course. In the end, you need, if you score late, it's also, you need luck for to do it. But we were relentless. We were trying and trying and uh, we did not stop to try. So, so we, we took the effort and we did not give in and uh, we had the lead. Then we lost it again, but, but uh, we, we, we never stopped attacking. So I think it's deserved but also lucky if you score late. And for someone like Kai at such a young age, he scored the winning goal in the Champions League final. He's now scored the winning goal today. Good. He said he was nervous, but he didn't look it. And uh, the penalty does not look nervous, but for sure he was nervous. You cannot be not nervous in a moment like this. He knows what's uh, at stakes, and, um, but he has a good, uh, a good record in shooting within 90 minutes. Today was within 120 minutes, and, and we trusted the statistics. and. I'm happy for him. And just quickly, Thomas, before I leave you, Chelsea have now won everything there is to win, and you've played a big part in that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'm 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 a part in it, and uh, other spin charts. Yeah, I'm a part in it, and um, I'm I'm happy to have the chance. We said before in the dressing room, what a what opportunity! Everybody is uh, is jealous on us to play a game like this, and as boys, we all dream to have to have finals like this. And it's a very special and, and we wanted to play with no regrets. Um, yeah, there are still things to win and uh, it never stops. Thomas, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Vamos ouvir aqui então Abel Ferreira. Que análise dá para fazer desse jogo? Foi um jogo bem disputado, um jogo brigado. Detalhes resolveram. Como você vê a partida? Ah, sabíamos que ia ser um jogo difícil. Uh... Vocês não gostam dos três centrais, mas veem como é que joga o, o Chelsea. Uh, mas acima de tudo muito orgulho da minha equipa não vou estar a falar do resultado, não quero falar do resultado perdemos, dar os parabéns a quem ganhou muito orgulho do que fizemos do nosso trabalho o ano passado nem ao pódio fomos este ano ficamos em segundo batemos-nos muito bem contra uma grande, uma grande equipa uh, jogo decidido em detalhes e acima de tudo muito orgulhoso dos meus jogadores foi aquele típico jogo jogado não é Abel? todo mundo procurou ganhar, todo mundo procurou jogar dentro das suas propostas Eu, eu, eu vou voltar a falar, nós conseguimos superar e muito aquilo que é a qualidade individual do nosso adversário. Conseguimos ser, ter, ser corajosos, conseguimos ser valentes, conseguimos ter calma, jogar, atacar o nosso adversário. Uma equipa que tem muita qualidade individual, mas nós conseguimos igualar com, com o nosso jogo coletivo. E o jogo foi decidido num detalhe, num detalhe. Então é dar os parabéns aos meus jogadores, estou muito orgulhoso, sou um, orgulho, um treinador orgulhoso por, por ser treinador deles. Uh, agora vamos, vamos receber a nossa merecida segundo lugar por tudo o que fizemos, por todo o trabalho que fizemos, mais uma vez dar os parabéns ao nosso adversário e aceitar o que conseguimos e seguir em frente. Parabéns pelo desempenho, apesar de não ter conquistado o primeiro lugar. Ok, um abraço para vocês. Muito obrigado. There you have the story of the 120 minutes. Chelsea with two thirds of possession pretty much throughout the whole match. 22 shots on goal for Chelsea, 10 to Palmeiras, only seven on target in the whole game. Here comes the FIFA Club World Cup trophy. Brought on by a man who needs no introduction. 
Salcedo brings it on. And that trophy will very soon be in the hands of Cesar Azpilicueta. Nine years after he lost in the final with Chelsea to Corinthians. He will now skip a Chelsea to their very first FIFA Club World Cup. Here come the various individual trophies as well. And the medals for all those involved. FIFA president Gianni Infantino leads the party towards the stage. So out they come into the night sky, the FIFA presentation party. too long before it is the actual FIFA World Cup that will be presented at the end of the year but it's the FIFA Club World Cup trophy that will be going to London in England tomorrow morning Fair play award then to be presented to Chelsea. And they will be heading home with quite a bit of silverware. Chelsea FC. Cesar Azpilicueta, the captain, is presented with the FIFA Fair Play Award. Photos are taken of the Chelsea captain. Nine FIFA years after he had to watch the, three the players from players Corinthians the FIFA Club World Cup take the winner's medals. The winner of the Adidas Bronze Ball is Danilo the from ball. Palmeiras. Danilo really has impressed in this uh, tournament for Palmeiras. The youngster, just 20 years of age, he'll be 21 in April. Started both Copa Libertadores victories for Palmeiras. And he will go home with the Bronze Ball Award. Must be hard for him to muster up a smile. The winner of the Adidas Silver Ball is... The silver Ball. Dudu from Goes to Palmeiras. Dudu from Palmeiras. Palmeiras. Scored that magnificent Dudu goal Palmeiras. in the semi-final against Al-Ali. And again, just like Danilo, must be hard for him to muster a smile. So Palmeiras take home the, best the player bronze ball the and the silver ball. But the World best player UAE of the tournament. Receiving the Adidas Golden He's Ball 37 Award years of age. Thiago Silva from Chelsea. It's Thiago Silva of Chelsea, the Brazilian international, who comes forward to add yet another trophy to his packed trophy cabinet.
the Adidas Golden Ball winner, Thiago Silva. Ladies and gentlemen, we once again congratulate the winners of the Adidas Ball Award. Gold, silver and bronze from left to right. The winner of the Alibaba Cloud Award is Thiago, Thiago Silva. Silva. Doesn't have to go Chelsea. too far because he's going to pick up another trophy. The winner of the Alibaba Cloud Award. He's going to have some extra luggage to declare on the way back to London Heathrow. Won 18 totals in trophy, in trophies in total in Paris. He's added to that total at Chelsea. FIFA will now present commemorative medals to the match officials of this evening's final match. The all Australian officiating trio were out on the pitch. Chris Beef, Anton Shatinian, and Ashley Beecham. Fourth official, Mustafa Gorbel of Algeria. And the VAR officials coming out as well, led by Massimiliano Irati. Johnny Infantino congratulating all the officials. waits to receive their medals. It's a long wait for Palmeiras, the beaten finalists who presumably would like to just return to their dressing room. But they will get a huge roar from those Palmeiras supporters who are still in the stadium. And there are quite a few in green who are still here. Many, though, have already Headed for the exit. Please congratulate the third placed team of the FIFA Club World Cup UAE 2021, presented by Ali Baba Cloud, Al Ahli. Al Ahli of Egypt finishing third at this FIFA Club World Cup after beating Al Hilal in today's third and fourth place playoff match. So they get the third placed medals. Beaten by Palmeiras in the semi-finals by two goals to nil, but a convincing victory today over Al Hilal. Special word for the coach as well. They've made their way from the third and fourth place match to watch tonight's game, and why not? The two stadiums are only about 10 minutes away by road. So Al Ali, ladies and third. gentlemen, please put your hands together the for the runners-up up of the FIFA Club World Cup UAE. Palmeiras step forward, led by their captain, Gustavo Gomez, to collect the runners-up medals. They'd hoped for so much more. They'd hoped to be taking that glittering trophy back to Sao Paulo with them. But it's not to be. 
their second successive appearance at the FIFA Club World Cup, having finished fourth last year. Second, 12 months later. Rafael Vega, there he is, the goal scorer in the final with the penalty. To make it 1-1, but Kai Havertz's late penalty meant defeat for those in green and white. And after Copa Libertadores' success in the last two years for Palmeiras, it is second spot in the Club World Cup. Abel Ferreira, they're the coach. Unable to guide his team to a historic first triumph in this competition. But they contributed hugely to a terrific final, which for a long time looked as though it would be heading to a penalty shootout. Ladies and gentlemen, Until a penalty once more, won it congratulations to SE Palmeiras. حضورنا الكريم نحيي مرة أخرى فريق أسي بالميراس. بالميراس. The runners-up at the FIFA Club World Cup UAE 2021. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the proud winners of the FIFA Club World Cup UAE 2021, presented by Ali Baba Cloud, Chelsea. Thomas Tuchel, the coach, comes up first as Chelsea receive their winner's medals. A lucky touch on the trophy from virtually every player so far. Kepa, the hero of the semi-final with that magnificent save in the second half against Al-Hilal to preserve Chelsea's lead. Thiago Silva, who was amongst those stressing to several of the younger players in the Chelsea squad how big a deal this tournament is in his part of the world in South America. Eduard Mendy must have a sense of deja vu, picked up a trophy last weekend, the Africa Cup of Nations with his country Senegal and it's another winner's medal for him. And there's the man who scored two of Chelsea's three goals, Romelu Lukaku. The Belgian international. Third choice goalkeeper, Marcus Bechtinelli. Well, and Reese James there too. Non-playing members of the travelling party. Cesar Azpilicueta, nine years ago, lost in the final with Chelsea to Corinthians. is the only player from that day who is still playing for Chelsea. He now captains Chelsea. And he, the trophy in just a moment, will lift the FIFA, the FIFA Club Mr. World Gianni Cup. Infantino. Chelsea complete the set as far as club football is concerned. They are the third English club to lift the Club World Cup after Manchester United and Liverpool. As the sign says, they are the champions. Chelsea, winners of the FIFA Club World Cup in the United Arab Emirates. The club world champions, the team who won the UEFA Champions League last year have now added the world title to it. And 
and what a moment for Aspilicueta. His 459th appearance for Chelsea. It may well be his last season with Chelsea. He's now calling all the coaching staff in to have their photo taken all together. Hudson Adore, who provided the cross for the opening goal. And those are the pictures from the photographers massed in front of the Chelsea players that will be beamed around the world and will be printed in newspapers and websites everywhere. The flag of Chelsea is flying high. 2-1 winners over Palmeiras of Brazil. And here come the celebrations from Abu Dhabi, from the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium. That the scene then at the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates.